us we do know the truth about that. <laughs> All right, now we're going to start with Mel's Angels. The uh, first comedian is Bob Neville. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> this is going to hell to original from the Winter Collection. Bring on Bob Neville. I'm a graduating senior in telecommunications. Thank you. Which means that I'll be entering the DeVry Truck Drivers Institute. Can't wait for my downshifting exam. Yeah, bird. Woo! God. It's great, though, graduating. I'm going to earn these wonderful pieces of paper, you know? First piece of paper is going to say, You have graduated from Ohio University with a degree in telecommunications. Ooh-wee! Next piece of paper is going to say, Your qualifications do not match those of our organization. <laughs> we'll keep your resume on file and have a nice life. <laughs> well, thank you. God. I always wanted to be a dancer, ever since I was a little kid. But as I got older through adolescence, I said, Yeah, I don't want to wear tights. <laughs> hey, the last thing I need is for people to stare at me and find out what religion I am. <laughs> I have been here for four years, and there are some things that I'm never going to miss. For instance, I'm never going to miss listening to a drunken pie fi at three in the morning in my neighbor's room singing to Bruce Springsteen. Oh, guys, do something about that. And I'm never going to miss having to flush the toilet before I go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. Hey, how many people are going to Florida for spring break? Huh? I'm going to Florida, too. I'm flying United Airlines. Which kind of sucks. United, we fly the friendly skies. I think it should be United, you fly the friendly skies. Alone. God, I figured out what United stands for, the acronym. Unsupported, neglected interiors that eventually destruct. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever miss Athens, though, you know? How can anybody ever miss a place that has a mayor that looks like Yoda? <laughs> I wish Athens would get a Jewish mayor. You drive into town, and every single hill would be replaced with Mel's nose over here. <laughs> Imagine if we had a gay mayor. You know, you drive into town, you do a double take at Elder Beerman's, it's no longer Elder Beerman's, it's Elder Queerman's. <laughs> You go uptown and the city hall has pink lace curtains in the window. There goes my gay politics grade. Maybe I won't graduate. Oh, man. How many people from Columbus? I got a good Columbus too. Columbus is a great city, though. They're growing. They're really improving. I guess they always went by that motto, try and try again. I think their mayor, though, took that motto a little too literally. Isn't that what he did in bed with a 13-year-old? <laughs> How many people watch the television news over there in Parkersburg, West Virginia? <laughs> now, I don't want to offend any Todd Boucher fans out there. <laughs> OU's 1978 geek. <laughs> Jesus. I guess station management over there is going to try to improve their newscasts by taking their newscasters, moving them one notch up higher on the food chain, by giving them something new, something different, something they've probably never even seen before. Teeth. <laughs> I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> Hear what happened with the Cleveland Browns football team lately? A couple of the players were caught in a prostitution ring. Hey, I'm proud of that, you know? I think Bernie should be proud of it, too. I could tell anybody from out of town that the Cleveland Browns, my hometown football team, is the only team in the National Football League that fucks up on and off the field. 